Hello guys and welcome to the aquarium. Thank you for joining me today. I've placed a sign on the front of uh, the aquarium so everybody knows what this place is. Today I'll tell you what we're doing. We're going to be making some improvements uh, or show you the improvements I've made to the, the Manta uh, touch pool that we did last time out and we'll be making our next um, enclosure which is going to be for some of the smaller fish. The uh, coelacanth, the saber toothed salmon, and what else we're we going to do? We're going to do some cynidaria, maybe some trilobites. Well, we'll stick a whole bunch of, uh, of smaller creatures in the one place. I think it's going to be a pretty fun project to do. So yeah, so first of all, the aquarium. This um, someone yeah suggested in the comment section. They said that I should put a sign out the front there, uh, letting, you know, with announcing the name of uh, this place. So I've done this. I've used uh, the Eco's Stable Mod large sign to both place in. I've placed three of them here because <laughs> it's a little bit strange. Um, the, it doesn't resize the text. But Based on what you write in so it's always this size it centers it on on the center sign but um, the aquarium is just too much to fit in and um, the the and the um kind of uh, sticks out the side so if I thought actually you know what, I could probably get away with it if I place three signs you can see there that's just a little bit of a gap there in between the text and the sign but I'll place three signs and it actually kind of looks it almost looks like it's supposed to be like that so I'm happy with that one uh, I think there's decently lined up i'm happy with how it is anyway so um yes yeah, so you can see uh, the reception luckily just about fits on on the one sign so we got away with that one <laughs> we're gonna have to play about with the signs a bit more as we as we go along uh yeah so just quickly recap what we did last time out we did the cinema room in here uh for showing of the educational videos uh, about the creatures here in the aquarium and um we did the manta ray touch pool which is out here now. So a few changes I've made. First of all, uh, the manta are swimming a lot slower than they were last time out. That's because I've loaded them full of stone because they were just swimming, they were zooming around there and it was just a little bit unrealistic. Um, I wanted them to kind of just gently float around in, in there, just just make it look like they're just, you know, being a little bit lazy, just sort of swimming around. Uh, manta rays are gentle giants. Um, I'm not too sure about that swim speed. I haven't done that much research on them yet. Um, we will do in the future, but um, I just I want them to swim around slowly so you can actually get a look, good look at them. So the other thing I've done is I've added a couple of windows, just a small one there and a small one there. That is more just to kind of uh, brighten up the place and just to break up these big flat walls rather than give it any view. Especially this side, you don't really you can't really see much, just the back end of uh, the uh, the entrance there. Um, but this well, this one you get a decent view. Obviously, we should hopefully get a lot more buildings out there. So I just I don't really know how much this is going to be above water and how much it's going to be below water because I mean sure this one we're just coming off the shore so it's uh, pretty much above the water but yeah and the next one here I'm going to be building over in this direction so let me explain the next one we're going to do because obviously as we go go along we'll be going deeper into the ocean with some of the uh, uh, larger creatures. Uh, there will definitely be some above ground ones though things like the mosasaur. Um, display area like a big arena and we'll have um if you saw you know dolphin shows kind of things they'll be above above the uh above the ocean floor so um yeah that, that's just be good anyway let's move on so i've placed a couple of um these the tech vacuum compartments on the side here because so we need to start going under the water so we can get another look um at the creatures and you can go inside and you can sort you can walk around in here and I've actually opened up the side of the manta pool here, so you can actually just stand here and watch them swim around. Um, and uh, you get a pretty good view from, from this point. Uh, so the the only downside of having it right on the surface like this is that even though that this is um, empty of water and you can just walk around and you can breathe normally, uh, you still get the, the surface. So at this point, it looks like you're about to go into water when you're in actual fact that water isn't there so i guess we just have to get away with the saying you know what it's a hologrammatic effect that we have in our super high-tech aquarium just to make you think you're going under the water but it's it's just a hologram it's not actually there that, that's what we'll have to say so anyway so that's what that, that's what i've done to the mantis touch pool um which i think is pretty awesome i, I like it a lot and uh, this area here um you're going to get a, 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 an amazing view out into the ocean this is obviously where our aquarium is going to stretch out to there should be a lot to see I hope as we move along the series so um, yeah we're going to continue on out this way um, I, what I want to do I have a really good plan uh, I'm hoping I have a really good plan I want to go down a little bit I think what we'll do from this point is we're, we're going to open up this one it's going to flood it 
but we're okay we can drain it later so we're going to come out here and we're going to put on another one uh, hang on let's just make sure it snaps in the right place like this and we're going to start working our way down down towards this area because I want to put some trilobites in and I think they'd be great in this little sort of shallow shelf over here and I can kind of incorporate the the natural seaweed and corals and things that's already here uh, without having to add too much on my own decoration. I think that's a really nice little area that we can have some trilobites uh, just roaming around on. Um, so we need to kind of come over this way. So it's a little bit of a way to walk but um, we can put in some display. I don't know what, what to do about displays and making things look good as we come along but we'll kind of come out this way and maybe we'll come out one more like this there we go so that should be pretty good about how far we can go in and you can sort of should get a good view out from this point let's put in a few more here this is where the room's going to be so we'll kind of uh, make this a bit bigger maybe about that far across Maybe we could do one more. Oh, we've got some sharks over there. That's the first time I've actually seen some wild sharks in, in this area. There's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to make this a bit bigger as well. I'm going to do it about three wide, I think. And we'll have another display on this side where the uh, ammonites will be. I do have some interesting ideas that I want to try and implement. Uh, but these, these are a little bit uh, odd to use. As I've never really used these to vacuum compartments before. So it's definitely going to be a learning experience as to how they work and how best to use them. And I think it's probably best to try and get everything built in and then once everything's there then drain it because I think you're constantly flooding and draining these things. So there we go. That looks pretty good. And I think what I will do is... Uh, I don't know whether to bring another one down because I'm going to have some uh, Cinderaria in the center. You may want to make this bigger. Right, let's get inside and uh, we'll have a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm inside and what I should be able to do, uh, we'll just drain all connected and we'll see if this kind of works. So oh, um, and what we have to do, see, look at the kind of view we're going to get. This is going to be awesome for a shark tunnel when we eventually do it. Ah, oh, it's going to be so cool. Uh, oh yeah, also what I want us to do is this area here where we've got a wall we can actually make it look a bit better we can actually we can freeze this and it just makes it into a bit of a solid wall which I, I kind of like better than how it was so if I open these we may flood the place we may not oh I can't oh, are you kidding I can't open it from this side I have to open yeah that's only gonna be another awkward thing let's try and fly a bit we'll have to open up the top here and then we flood everything this is, uh, and then I can't Oh, there we go. Right, so, okay, I think we can get in from this side. Uh, so we're going to open the top and we can go inside. So then we can open up there, which then lets us through to the rest of it. Okay, good. That's that. So now I want to go down. So we need to open up the bottom, and that'll take us down. And then we want to open up all this. So that comes in, and we're going down again. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. And we'll shut that. Uh, hang on. Can I shut it again? Uh, close. There we go. Right. Perfect. This is the one we want to open. So we'll open this one. And there we can. There we go down. It's very confusing. It is very confusing. But I think we'll get there in the end. And then we can open up. We'll open up this one. Right. And then we got. I've got a whole load of. Uh, ones to open up. Here we go. So try and open up this entire room. So actually the fact looks like we're going to need one more uh, porthole on this side. So we do this one and we can place the compartment there and then we want to open up this one. Uh, oh why can't I open it from this side? That's so frustrating. I think I should be able to do it from this side. So we're going to open that up here and then come to this side and open up here. There we go. And then we should be able to open up this side. Right, so now we're opening up the room. This is going to look good. Uh, so yeah, okay, let me get this done and I'll join you back once I've figured out exactly what I want to do. 
Okay, so I've drained all the water out so we just kind of get a better idea of how it's going to look. Now I've left these middle here because I wanted these to be sort of central um, displays for the Cynodaria. So we'll have those kind of floating up and down uh, in the, these parts, these two displays here. We'll have some uh, ammonites maybe swimming around on this side and then um, maybe with um, the coelacanths and saber-toothed salmon they could be swimming around a little sort of display this side and then maybe on this side we can have uh, maybe some more fish as well as the trilobites kind of uh, on the ground there now i don't know maybe that's maybe that's a little bit too thickly um forested if you know what i mean you might not be able to see them at this point because they don't swim they're just they're going to crawl on the ground we'll have to see how it goes you maybe we need to have uh, the fish on that side and we we'll need to come down because this area on there is a little bit barer. We could have it over there. I'll have to see how we go. But we will need we need a way in and out, first of all. So we need some stairs, uh, which we have. We can put a ramp in. Now these uh, vacuum compartments are... There we go. Every time you, you place it, you flood the place. So the best thing to do is just to get it all done and then drain it afterwards. It's a little bit of weird mechanic. I don't know, quite understand it, but there we go. So we'll, we'll come down for the stairs like this. Um, we'll change these to stairs. Now, someone did complain that uh, I wasn't catering to uh, disabled visitors because I have stairs and no ramps, but <laughs> that's only so much I could do to keep this realistic. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use stairs because they, they look better. Um, and uh, I've yet to see anyone needing to use a wheelchair in ARC, but yeah, I, I understand that we would need ramps. I think I'd, I'd probably mentioned that when I was doing the zoo as well saying that you know I know it's all stairs and wheelchair users would not be able to get around but this is ARC and nobody actually needs to use a wheelchair in ARC which is yeah there's only so much I can do to keep the realism going <laughs> so so I apologize to any wheelchair users out there but um, you're gonna have to uh, get some tech armor and fly or something that would be pretty awesome uh, anyway what can we do? So there's the stairs. So let's in and out. Let's uh, make sure that we can get in and we want to come up on this one as well. So we'll do the same sort of thing. Uh, how do we do this? I think we can just maybe just come straight down like that. That might work out. Change these to stairs. Change the stairs. There we go. Yeah, I think I think that works quite nicely. Um, I will... I'm just going to leave it like that because I could do like a double row of stairs. But I think we kind of want as much viewing options as possible so people can actually come down under the stairs and just look around and and uh, and have a look out so that's going to look pretty cool there we go that looks really good and uh, and the, the other option we could do is we can maybe freeze some of the floor sections i can't actually get under there now can i reach under there uh no let's get it from the other side so we can freeze them and uh, it'll make them solid like this which I, I think that might be quite good for the outside because um, there's nothing going to be worth looking at underneath. Uh, we'll freeze these and I'm thinking maybe I will leave these ones open because we'll have the Cynodaria display there so you might want to look underneath. Perhaps I could freeze this one. Leave that one and that one open. We'll freeze this one. Leave that open freeze that we can leave that open yeah I think this might be it might be quite yeah again always give me feedback in the comment section about what you think and I will always listen to suggestions um, that you have for anything that you might like to see um, and there we go okay yeah so then we you can sort of stand here and you can look down and if there's something sort of a little bit lower down then that, that'll work now quite nicely. Okay, let's get some Cynodaria in there and we'll just see whether that actually works. I haven't actually tested it out. So I've actually thought about uh, a slight problem we might have in uh, doing it this way. The um, When you drain all connected, it's going to drain these compartments as well. And even though this is open, you can come out here and immediately rid the water and you go back in and it's, it's, op it's open, but it's still drained of water. Um, now, because the entire aquarium is going to be connected uh, a lot of the time with these things, if, if I drain all connected, um, it's going to drain that middle and kill the Cynodaria every time. <laughs> so I think the best option for me to do would be to remove these vacuum compartments in the middle, 
uh, if I can. Let's try this. Pick up the vacuum compartment. There we go. So that picks up this one. And we'll pick up this one. There we go. And then just fill it in with um, S plus glass. That'll be a better solution because it's still uh, you can still separate out the compartments uh, with the walls for the other compartments. That works absolutely fine. Yeah, that's that's what I'll have to do. So uh, let me get this built out, and I'll join you back in a moment. All right, here we go. So this is a little bit awkward, but um, I'm pretty happy with the uh, how, how the the tanks look. They look pretty good. I've got some Snodari in here. There's about four in that one, I think. Um, unfortunately, it's a bit difficult to, to place, and I'll show you why. First, uh, first of all, I'm just going to quickly do this. Uh, we need some corners here. I think that's the right one. Uh, corner B and uh, corner C. I can't believe I actually got this all the first time round. Amazing. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so that's in. Okay, so this one is now open and it's also empty. So what I need to do is uh, we come in to uh, approximately, uh, we'll have one kind of here. Why is the, you can kind of see there's a line there. That's interesting. Hmm, never mind. Uh, so what I need to do is spawn in one. Now they don't spawn in tamed, much like the uh, coelacanths. They don't spawn in tamed. So what I can do is force tame it. Um, so what I'll try and do, I'll experiment here and I'll try and get them all in at once. I get about uh, four in here as well. And let's get another one here. Okay, this is going to be the tricky part. Tame, 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 tame. Oh, they're going, they're going, they're going. I've got it, got it, got it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> they're aggressive, obviously. Um, so they do kind of go for each other. They're a little bit. Let's try and move this one. If we can get this to move up a little bit. You're going to follow me. There we go. Oh, and unfollow. There we are. That's not too bad. Oh, oh it's a little bit high. It's too high. Okay, let's get you to follow me again. Uh, we'll come back down. You're going to come down. And unfollow. Did you actually do anything? No, you didn't. <laughs> so you can see, the positioning is a little bit awkward. We'll try and come right down. Here we go, unfollow. So it's right down there. So they are a little bit low. Ideally, I want them a bit higher. But we'll see how it looks from the inside. I haven't uh, looked yet. So uh, we'll just put the roof on. Uh, like this and like that. Uh, we're going to do a, uh, a tint. Let's get rid of that. Let's just copy that tint. Just so it doesn't look quite so clear. And then we want to change the model. Now there's no way I'm going to get this uh, the right way around again. Oh god, I did. Oh no, I got them to the wrong way around. There we go. <laughs> For a moment I thought I was going to do it the first time. There, that looks pretty good. Let's go and have a look from the inside. And because uh, that is not a vacuum compartment, I should be able to drain the rest of it. And we should be able to... Um, Oh god, what's happened? Oh! I've got no roof on that one. Okay, let's uh, close the top porthole. There we go. And I should be able to drain all connected. So this is all drained out. That's fantastic. I need to put a, oh, I need to put a railing there. Let's just quickly do that. Otherwise we're going to have people falling off. Where are my railings gone? There we go. Let's put that... Um, we don't need a paint gun right now. And then... Oh god, you place the things... And it just floods everything again. Oh wow, do you see everything just drains? So that comes down. We're here. This is perfect. And you can look inside and you can see the jellyfish. And you can kind of stand over here and look down. It's a shame about that, that the tinting. I have tinted everything the same. So it's just obviously a, one of those optical things. You you don't always... It just looks a little bit weird. But um, that looks pretty cool. I like it. I wish they were a little bit higher around and... and I don't know about having. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, significantly get the uh, the waypoints in these ones done. So I'm I'm thinking these are going to be okay, not moving around. They tend to just float around and not move too much anyway. So uh, yeah, I like that. I do like that. Okay, so now we need to move on to the next part. So I think what we'll do is that we'll try and do the trilobites. We'll come out this way. 
Um, and then we'll see what we're doing for time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build the compartment coming out a bit further on this way. Maybe with the glass again because we want to try the whites. I don't know whether we need to go a little bit closer to the uh, the ground to, to be able to see them properly. This is it's quite awkward to work out. I'll see what I can come up with. Okay, so uh, here we go. Um, I've extended out uh, the uh, the vacuum compartments one further towards the shore and also um, further out this way as well because I think this area here with the sandy part would be much better for a display for the trilobites than this area over here. I think this is going to be uh, as much as I, I love the decoration here, it's, it's too much. You're not going to be able to see the trilobites for a start. So this area here, I mean, uh, actually, this provides just a nice scenery to look at as you're walking down the uh, the corridor. So I've also uh, placed um, some glass uh, walls just along there, just to kind of um, stop the trilobites from wandering off too far. And what could do? So I'm going to block off this whole area here with using the glass, and that is going to be where the trilobites are going to be. So uh, the options that we can do here, we could, we could either add in more uh, scenario um, exhibits that perhaps every, you know, have perhaps an, another gap here, have another one here like that. Or possibly this area here can be where we have some of the uh, the other fish uh, or the ammonites. I th I'm, I'm not too sure. Looking at the time that this uh, is taking now for the for this episode, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the trilobites and I'll wait for your feedback before doing the uh, the other side whether it's going to be ammonites or saber tooth salmon, coelacanths. I'll probably put some coelacanths in here as well. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm think, I'm trying to work out how I want to do this. I think what I will do is I will bring out um, glass like this all the way to the edge. And that's going to kind of mark the, um, the extent of this enclosure. So we can go up to... Can we... How's that looking? That doesn't too bad. What we'll see... I may need to go out one further. So I'll just come over this way, like oh, like this. How much further? Another two, I think. And that should line up with the the edge of the vacuum compartment here. Okay, so we can fill this in. It's going to take a lot of work. <laughs> what I'm realising is it's going to take a lot of work with the old uh, model guns and doing the tints and the model selections and that sort of stuff. It's a little bit time consuming. But I think it is going to be definitely worth it when this is all done. So we'll just kind of fill in this area like that. And we're going to need to put some walls on on the side as well. So I think what I might do is I'll just put the walls on this side. I'll leave a small gap on the other side so I can get in and out nice and easy. Uh, but we should be able to just drop down the walls like this all the way down to the ground. You can see how it's going to go. So we've got a nice big box for the trilobites to live in. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I think it's going to look so good. I've also got a lot of work opening up all the vacuum compartments so we can actually walk around in there. But um, yeah, I'll just kind of show you what I was doing. I think it's going to look good. So I think what I'm going to do is going to complete this um, area. We can actually get this done. This rock here is uh, indestructible, so we're just going to have to build around it. Um, I think... I think we can get away with that little gap there. Place it like this. Uh, that little gap there will be fine. I'll leave that open so I can kind of get in. We'll put another one there and another one. I'll try and put one in here if we can. Perfect. Right, so we've got a gap there. Uh, so I'll fill up this other side. And, um, and yeah, yeah, that should be good. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so let me show you what we've done. Uh, so I've frozen on the bottom here to make give it a sort of a solid walking surface. You still get a really good view out either side. But this is the trilobite enclosure. So I've, I've completely uh, enclosed the area with the glass. Uh, we've just got this kind of sandy embankment for them to crawl on. I've put a few coelacanths in there as well. Um, now I, just, I don't understand the movement. I can't get them to wander. But this this one apparently randomly moves wherever it was. I don't know, so, but even when they were wild, they weren't moving anyway. They were just sitting there, even the fish. So I don't quite understand what's, what's going on. Uh, you can see there's a wild one that's outside um, that is swimming around. But uh, the other, the, yeah, these ones, I, just, I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. 
it's a little bit a uh, little bit strange that's a real shame because i really want them to working around I, I did place some of the the flags down the waypoints to try and get them to uh follow the waypoints but you just don't get the option to um make them follow maybe it's because they are force tamed maybe i'm going to have to do what i did with the, with the, the basket and actually um uh, tame them properly with the basket i just don't know i'll need to experiment maybe so uh, yeah, so that's what we do. The, this area looks a little bit bare in here. We definitely need some decorations. So I think maybe we'll get a little bit of decorations done and I'll probably call it a day after that because um, yeah, this is taking quite a long time to get this uh, sorted out and getting right in my head and stuff. So but we have these things, which I'm, I'm happy about how these worked out. They look really cool. So um, give me some feedback. We could add in some more of these. We've only got two so far. We could add another one like here and here maybe. Perhaps add another couple. Um, and if anybody has any experience about getting uh, trilobites and coelacanths to uh, to wander and to move and stuff, please let me know how you did it. Uh, but okay, I think what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time off camera just decorating this area down here. And once it's done, I'll show it to you. Then we'll, maybe we'll try and get some names done. That might be a good thing to do. Okay, guys, let me just show you what I have done since the last uh, point. So this point um, was just railings here. I changed it to some glass walls with a ceiling, kind of make it enclosed a little bit more. I think that looks a little bit better. Uh, we're going to go down here and um, we can run. It's all drained. So, uh, oh, I've just, I've missed the plant pot here. Let's just put, stick a couple of flowers in here. Uh, oh, that's not a flower. There we go. So there's a few flowers in the plant, uh, the plant pot. So I placed a couple of lights in, um, but mainly I've just placed, placed a whole load of uh, benches, flower pots, uh, a few decorations. We've got this uh, ship's wheel. So, you know, the kids might like to be able to sort of spin that around and play with it while the, the adults look around at the fish. Um, but yeah, but I, I, mean, I am a bit limited as to what I can do in here because you can't attach anything to these walls. I guess that's because you can you remove the walls if you like. Um, so that, that is an issue. I couldn't put anything hanging on the walls. So it's a bit of a shame, but um, yeah, so I just placed a whole load of flower pots and benches and a few lights around. So um, I am a little bit limited, but I think it looks pretty nice. It gives it just a little bit of extra sort of, uh, you know, just sort of decoration and that sort of thing. So it looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've done here. The only other thing um, I want to show you is I've just added some sloped uh, wind. Um, compartments here as well just to kind of open up these uh, parts where the stairs are I think that looks a little bit better did I do the same thing oh I did do the same thing here I didn't take away those walls uh, so I could just quickly do that now it'll probably flood the compartment again uh, open that porthole yeah we flooded everything again and let's just bring this uh, we'll come down here and we want to open the top porthole there we go that looks right and then we need to just drain everything again Perfect. Okay, that kind of works. It can't. Oh, we need this one open as well. Uh, I'll leave it for now. Uh, anyway, so um, I've named our manta rays. So I did say last time that um, if you want something named after yourself, it's a bit different than it was in Shredder Zoo. Don't ask for it. That that's the only kind of rules. Is don't don't say, hey, can you name something after me? Because you're you're not as likely to uh, to get um, chosen. So uh, basically, what I want you to do is just put a nice comment in the comment section. Something positive, something constructive. Uh, make a really good suggestion about something you'd like to see. Just give me an interesting fact. Make me laugh. Just anything. There's no real rules about what the comment has to be. Um, just something positive related to the video that sort of thing just just something good and uh, my favorite comments will get chosen um so the people who uh, got chosen from the last video we have um sophie um from uh, sophie plays games uh, you made you know a few good suggestions and you've been commenting quite a bit on my recent videos uh, if i begin if i recognize your name um then you're more likely to get chosen as well. Because I know when I did Shredder Zoo, sometimes somebody would say, hey, can you name something after me? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then I'd never see them in the comment section ever again. So I don't know whether they, maybe, maybe I mean, not everybody likes commenting, that's fine. But um, it'd be nice to at least know that you you uh, watch more than just one video. That'd be quite good. Anyway, we also have uh, Carlos. Now, Carlos um, is a Spanish guy who barely speaks any English, apparently. Um, but he's, he still says he loves watching my videos. And he kind of has to put my words into the translator to find figure out what I'm saying but even then he still likes it so that, I appreciate that so much that you can barely even understand what I'm saying 
but you still enjoy watching these videos. So I'm so happy about that. So you definitely get one named after you. We have Alabaster Jazz, who made some really good suggestions and um, um, some comments uh, in the last video about uh, things that I could try and do. And some, you know, he was really positive about it. And um, and Primal Gamer uh, also just made some really nice comments uh, in the in the comment section. So uh, there. So thank you very much for commenting. Thank you for, for watching. These are your guys in this one. So uh, yeah, we'll do the same sort of thing next episode for um, the Trilobites and the Synodaria. Uh If we can, I'm just I'm, I'm slightly concerned about the future of the series in the far as making it look good, making these guys wander around. Now, I remember force taming things in the zoo didn't work. I couldn't name them. I haven't tried naming these guys yet. I think I'll probably have to mess around and just, just to make sure these things work. But uh, that's what we'll be doing. So anyway, I think I think we've done enough for today. Um, I didn't do quite as much as I was expecting, but this took a lot longer than I thought. And uh, we've got a decent amount of footage for today's video. So I'm pretty happy to leave it like that. Uh, but what I will do is uh, next time out, again, give me some suggestions. But we're going to be extending out this way or this way. We need to do the saber tooth salmon um, and some more coelacanths. I think we'll need to do. I've got also got the Eurypteids as well. I was tempted to put them in here, but I think I'll save them for another area, maybe a bit deeper down. Um, and yeah, so let me know what you'd like to see next. I think maybe maybe we'll do something a little bit bigger. Or maybe we'll just we'll get the small ones out of the way first for the first few episodes. Maybe the ammonites, something that we can do. Uh, shouldn't take too long to actually just get perhaps another display over this side and um, get some fish in here. But I'm really looking forward to getting some of the bigger displays done, but some the more of the arenas like the uh, Ickley Arena and uh, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Um, thank you so much for all the uh, comments and views and things over the last few. Um, oh, I can't wait for the next one. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>